Welcome to the first screencast for teaching web-based technologies. Our first technology that we are going to see in this course is HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. Uh, every web page on, on the web is made using HTML. Now, it's not that every page is written in HTML, it's that just the browser understands only HTML. A web page can be written in many different languages like PHP, Python, or ASP.NET, but it has to be compiled by a server into an HTML file and sent back to your computer or your browser to be rendered as a page. So every web page can be written in different languages, but the browser can only display a page that is rendered or written in HTML. Now, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext, Mark Hypertext Markup Language. Now, it is made up of each uh, HTML page. It's made up of elements. There are many elements within a page. Uh, this is one of the sample element, H2, with some content inside it. Now, each element usually has a start tag and an end tag. Between those tags, we have the content that, is need, that needs to be displayed. Elements in HTML are of two different types, paid elements and void elements. Paid elements are the ones that have a starting tag and an ending tag with content inside it, as the one that we just saw in the example. An example of a void element is one that doesn't have content inside it, it doesn't have a start tag and end tag, it just has one tag and it's self-closing. Self-closing is the slash and the closing bracket that you see over there is, that means it's self-closing. It doesn't have any content inside it. Each element in HTML also has attributes which are included within the start tag. An example of this is given over here where the name is the name of the attribute and heading is the value of the attribute. Values are usually put inside double quotations. The multiple attributes can be included in an element. You just have to separate them using spaces. Now, HTML is termed as a markup language. It doesn't have a compiler, it's not a programming language, it doesn't compile to bytecode which is then used and rendered. On the other hand, it is a markup language. That means the tags and the attributes in combination tells the browser, browser how to display the content. For example, if you have an H2 tag which has an attribute of align equal to center, with text my first HTML will tell the browser to include the text my first HTML in the center and the tag h2 will tell that it is a little bigger and different from the normal text included inside a web page. Now that's the introduction to HTML. Now let's go ahead and see how we can write our HTML code. Now I'm using an application called Brackets which is a front-end development integrated development environment. Uh, it's pretty good and easy to use. Now before we start we need to first make sure that we create a workspace. F after you create a workspace or a folder in any directory that you like, you can open that directory to be your current directory or your current workspace that you're working in. You can either open it from here and if you're opening it for the first time you will not see this oh, bar open over here so you just go over there on file and press open folder. Now for this uh, screencast I have created a folder on my desktop called web. So I'm going to use that as my workspace. Now after opening this we need to first create a new file. I want to save that file as an HTML. So let's say first page dot HTML. Now in order to start writing your HTML, you need to first know what are the basic tags which should be part of every HTML page. There are five basic tags that should be part of every HTML page. The first tag is a doc type tag. Now, 
the doc type tag actually tells the browser which version of HTML you're using. Now this particular tag tells that you're using HTML5 which is the latest version of HTML. HTML4 has a different way of writing uh, it uses uh, a different uh, attributes written over here to tell them that they are using the version HTML 4 or 3 or the ones before that. This particular one tells that you are using HTML5. The next tag is the root tag, the, f the tag that encloses all other tags within your page which is HTML. Now within the HTML tag we have two se subsections or sub tags which is the head tag and the body tag. The head tag is used for declarations inside your HTML page. You def declare your connections or link your files, favorite icons or define your styles or, or connect your JavaScript code or write your JavaScript code. All declarations go within the head tag. Whereas the body tag specifies the content that you need to display on a page. Okay, Let's go ahead and the fifth tag I was talking about is the title tag. The title tag is the text that appears as the title on your page. The title in the sense whenever you open the page the, the title that appears on the tab of your, pay, of your browser is, is what is written over here. For example if I say my first page and let's see render this page in our browser brackets provide the school tool over here which is live preview which will work only when you have Chrome installed on your computer if you click on it you will see okay taking some time to actually get ready okay okay so now it's running as you can see over here my first page appears on the tab this is the th this is the text that I included within the title part of my page okay let's get disconnected now Inside the body tag includes the content that you want to display. We just saw one tag, which is the H2 tag. The H2 tag is a heading tag uh, used in HTML. For example, if I say my heading 2, specify my heading 2. Let's go and look at our live development page preview. We'll say that this is my heading 2. Okay. We can also put attributes, as mentioned earlier, that attributes should be put inside the start tag. And the attribute that we saw was a line. And if we put center over here, we can go back to our browser and see that this now is aligned in the center. Yeah. Don't worry about the blue border around it. It just means that this browser is connected to my brackets application. So this is the current element which is highlighted inside of my brackets ID. So if I remove it over here, it will select the whole page now because I'm, I'm highlighted on the whole uh, content area. So this is the basics about your HTML. Uh, before we go on to specific about what types of tags are available for us, let's see how can we write comments in an HTML page. Comments are used by programmers to write extra information which doesn't is which is not displayed on a web page. There are different formats, different programming languages use different ways of writing comments. HTML uses this format of, for writing a comment on your page. Okay, So this comment will not be displayed whenever the page is rendered in a browser. This is only for development use. So this is it about introduction to HTML. Let's come back again you know next screen task to see what are the different types of tags that we can use to put content inside our first page